Hey, welcome back to working on it. Today I'm going to show you how to make my air agitated parts washing filter cleaning bucket thing. Okay, so I got it pulled up in CAD for you here. Um, we're going to take a pipe nipple, sh shove it through that bucket with an air fitting on it. Cut out the bottom of another bucket, shove it down in there with some holes drilled in it, and it should make bubbles. Just a little bit of agitation. Those are bubbles. I'm sure you have no idea what bubbles are, but those are them. Here's a little shopping list for you, in case you decide to make this thing. Uh, if you wanted to get fancy, you could probably sneak a ball valve in there, but for my application, it won't be necessary. It'll get drained every time I use it. I'm just going to measure an inch and a half from the bottom of the bucket and I'll heat up a knife and snip it off. I thought it was important that you knew what a bottomless bucket looked like. I'm going to measure 7 eighths of an inch from the bottom of the unholy bucket and then I will drill it out with a half inch drill bit. I didn't have a half inch washer floating around, so I'm just opening up a 7 16th one I had. And you might have to do this on the half inch washer too. The numbers on that air fitting came out just slightly over. So I'm gonna show you this part stack up quick and then I'll come back and goop it all. So I got it all gooped up and sandwiched in there. I'm just gonna put this five inch pipe nipple to hopefully bring the air to the middle, kind of make it even. Um, we'll clean up the cut off of this bucket and measure an inch and a half, cut a slot for that plumbing, and then we'll drill some holes in this.
So I ended up using a 3 8 drill bit for that, just because it was nearby. Um, put those lines on there, help me line it up, because man, once it's in there, it's, it's hard to get out. So we'll finish gooping this thing up, and we'll go test it. No. Oh. But is it too hard on it will hurt you? No. Oh. Just water. Can I touch it though? Sure. So I'm just at the end thinking here, you could probably take a third bucket, drill a bunch of holes in it, and then you got a nice part strainer. Um, but all in all, it did what I wanted to. It was cheap, simple. So if you happen to have made it and like it, let me know. Or if you didn't like it, let me know. But either way, thanks for watching.